Uh, we continue our lightning round with uh, Terry. Two minutes. Uh, Minister, thank you very much for your presentation. And I'd be remiss as the uh, chair for uh, the Northern Ontario Caucus to thank you for the uh, increase in the funding for FedNor in the 2017 budget. And my question will be around regional uh, economic development agencies. And, you know, um, in my opinion, they're a great equalizer, uh, creating fairness for Canadians from coast to coast to coast, because you should be able to live wherever you want and create opportunities. What role will regional economic development agencies be playing uh, going forward? A very prominent role. Uh, that's why they are mentioned as part of the title, Innovation Science and Economic Development. Uh, the roles of the regional development agencies has been elevated. Uh, and not only have we put forward strategies, uh, for example, the Atlantic Growth Strategy in Atlantic Canada, we're working with um, Northern Ontario through FedNor to have a strategy for Northern Ontario, but we will also increase funding. So more resources for diversification, for job uh, creation, uh, focusing on internet and connectivity, for example, in some of these rural and remote communities. So we're proud of the fact that we've increased funding for ACOA, CANNOR, SEDQ, WD, and renewed the mandate for FedDev. So that just highlights how important the RDAs are to our economic agenda. And uh, very quickly, you know, superclusters have been asked and answered. You, you mentioned where they're going. Uh, one thing about the superclusters did in Northern Ontario, especially, was uh, it was oversubscribed. But yeah. it had people talking for the first time in many cases. Uh, what are we going to do with the people that aren't shortlisted? Shortlisted. So we're going to have a pathway initiative. Uh, we're going to look at what other programs exist, initiatives exist. How can we continue to work with them to continue to promote that collaboration? And you know. In some cases, that collaboration and conversations are still taking place, uh, which is really part of the success of this initiative, was to bring people together. Um, but at the same time, we wanted to be very focused. Uh, we wanted to have a competitive process, and we want the best ideas to emerge, uh, and really set an ambitious agenda for Canada when it comes to superclusters, because it's great for Canadian companies, and it's great uh, for global investment as well.